Greetings and welcome back to my channel. We are back in Southern California at my friend Jeff's place and we are going to showcase a couple of his Mopar cars as well as his oil and gas collection. Enjoy! Beautiful Challenger, Jeff. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. This is a 1970 Challenger TA with the factory 346 pack. They only made about 1,800 of these cars as limited production for the road racing series back in 1970. In order to race these cars in the series, they had to sell a certain amount as factory production cars to be able to qualify to race. So this is one of the 1,800 that was built. And this car is all original and has never been restored. Amazing. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Sounds healthy. Yeah, it's all stock. The, uh, the factory has the side exit exhaust on it, so it's very short tailpipes that dump right in front of the rear wheels. They call them scavenger pipes. carpet from the driver's foot and a crack in the dash pad but it's original and they're only original one that's right how many miles i think it's about 72,000 original miles yes very low mileage for the year yeah definitely I'm the second registered owner on this, and the original owner bought it at Cloudy Short Dodge in Santa Monica, and I have all of the original sales paperwork, and I was able to get in touch with one of the original owner's sons after I got the car and get some more history on it, and the guy bought it for his wife for their anniversary, and she drove it for a while, but liked driving her big Cadillac instead, so this car ended up being used as a weekend driver and kind of an extra car, so it sat a lot. A Mopar collector's dream. Jeff found this amazing original Challenger in a mobile home park in the high desert. And the hood is black, and it was originally, it's a factory fiberglass hood, and they weren't painted. They were, um, an, they call it an organosol, which is like a textured black finish fiberglass hood with this functional scoop on it. Now the engine was restored in it um, because it had sat for so long, so the engine and drivetrain has been rebuilt, but everything else on the car is original. I like the factory exhaust manifolds. Oh, that's 
sounds sweet. I love it. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Beautiful, beautiful 62 Dodge Dart. Can you tell me a little bit about it, Jeff? Yeah, this car uh, came out of Kansas. It was last on the road before I got it in 1970. It was sitting in a field in Kansas. And um, I worked on it over a 10 year period and did all the work on it myself. The engine is built to look like a stock 413 Max Wedge but it's actually a 540 cubic inch uh, engine pump gas street motor that uh, really runs good. Let's go. Jeff, is it all right if we do a walk around tour of your pumps? Yeah, let's take a look at my pumps that are in the garage. 
This is a Butler 131 clock face. Very Art Deco. Look at that. Just like the Butler Visible that Jeff has out front, they have a very ornate base. This is a really nice signal pump you have here, Jeff. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, this is a nice original signal pump. Yeah, it came out of Southern California. So, you know, kind of neat to have a local pump. Wayne 60S showcase yeah, pump? Yeah, original showcase. And it, uh, it came out of a, a farm property in uh, South Carolina a few years back. Wow, so you had to have it delivered out here. Yeah, I uh, had a friend pick it up at Dixie Gas Show for me. Uh, it's great to have friends to help you out. Definitely. And another Wayne 492 Roman? Yep, this is a, another, my third Roman here. Just a, a neat pump. I like the color. Yeah, that dark green is one of my favorite colors to see on pumps. And where did you find this National A38 shell pump? A friend of mine, Nick Mastermind from Vegas, found this pump. And uh, it came out of Vegas, and it's all original decals and everything on it. Just a neat original example of a Shell 838 pump. You know what? I know Nick. He's a super nice guy. He's a great guy. When he first found this pump, I tried to buy it, and he said he was going to keep it. And when, when he decided it was time to sell it, he would offer it to me. And he followed through, and I was able to make a deal with him on it and add it to my collection. I always like the teardrop sides on these. This is really nice. We have a Bennett Model 76 here, 1930s pump. I like the Art Deco top. And of course, the originality of this pump uh, doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's original Sinclair HC decals on both sides. And then that globe is original milk glass, what they call the decal globe. So there's a factory Sinclair HC decal stuck on the glass body and that's original. Wow, that's incredible. I like the crackling in the decal. And then we have a pair of Bennett 373 pumps here. Can you tell me about these? Yeah, so the, the red and white one is an original Sinclair pump, original paint, and it has original milk glass body with Sinclair PowerX globe on it. And I got this pump out of North Carolina on my vacation this summer. And it's just a super nice original example of a Sinclair pump. Something a lot of people miss on these Sinclair pumps is the white stripe that goes halfway up the body when they restore them. And you can see both of these original Sinclair pumps have the white stripes. That is nice. And I like the look of this. Of course, it's green like that Roman column. Yeah, so this 373 was the first 373 I got, and it came out of Pennsylvania. And you can see right here on the side, there's a Penna Independent Oil Company tag. And um, this pump is still one of my favorite pumps that I have. It's, I think it's that green paint in the style of these Bennett's. And then here we have a National B38, and the reason it's a B38 is it has a clock face and clock mechanism to measure the gallons instead of a calculator. I like the Chevron logo with the wings. Very nice. Here we have a Martin Schwartz. Is it Martin Schwartz Wayne 80? Yep. Script top. The original script top and all original paint on it. Yes. Very nice.
Beautiful restoration on this National. This is a Model A62. Yeah, so this pump uh, came out of Desert Center, California, right off the 10 out in the desert towards Blythe. And the station out there had seven of these A62s there. And I was able to buy all seven of them and they were still connected to the tanks on the island. So we had to cut the bolts off and cut the pipes and wiring um, to get them out. But yeah, I got seven of those A62s. Wow, that's incredible. You know, I think I saw a photograph that you sent me in my tractor video, we placed a photograph in there of your trailer with the tractor on the back, and it had about six of these on the front of the trailer. Yep, that's when I got these. So one of my tractors outside also came from Desert Center, and on that load I brought six of these A62s home and that tractor. And the seventh A62 I gave to my dad, and that's now restored in his office in Arizona. Great. We have a Gilbarco here. Yeah, this is a Gilbarco 97. So just like a 96, but this one's a clock face version. I never had one. That's neat. It was a Chevron pump originally also. Yep, yep. Some Chevron Supreme. Sure. And a couple of more Bennett 373s here. Yeah, you can tell that the Bennett 373s are one of my favorite pumps. I've got a, got a few of them, and they're all, you know, different, unique, and all have a different story. Yeah, and they're very hard to find compared to our normal 371. Incredible patina. Yeah, this Texaco pump you're looking at here was painted, it's original red paint, and when I got it, it was painted with white house paint. So I was able to strip that white house paint off and then under that porcelain plate you can see the remnants of a decal and you can actually see part of the fire chief helmet from a Texaco fire chief decal that was on the pump at some point. I ended up getting a diesel plate for it and it had the holes in the doors on both sides that perfectly matched that plate. So I put it back as original Texaco pump. Uh, it looks fantastic. And then last but not least, we have a Tokai Model 34 here, all original. Yeah, this one's kind of neat. It has a nine wheel calculator in it, which you don't usually see on Tokai 34s. Usually they're just a six wheel calculator. So I, I see haven't that. seen too many other ones that have the nine wheel calculator in it. Oh, that's neat. I like the alligator paint here. Yeah, it's pretty uh, cracked and definitely original. You can't replicate <laughs> that. The old saying, it can only be original once. And yeah. I notice you like to collect original pumps just like myself. Yeah, I do like original pumps. The only one that's restored in this row is that A62. Um, and looking back now, I wish I would have left it original instead of restoring it, but it's still a beautiful pump. And uh, it just has a great story and really has a lot of sentimental value to me. It sure does. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for having me over today and for showing me and sharing your collection with me. Special thank you goes out to Jeff and his family for sharing his collection with all of us. Thank you, Jeff.